featured for TV review is a 1968 Admiral 19-inch color television. This is the model C8011T and it uses the H10 chassis. This TV was manufactured by the Admiral Corporation in Chicago, Illinois. It's housed in a quality all-steel cabinet. And as can be seen, it also features a very decorative vinyl clad wood grain finish. This TV also features Instant Play. Instant Play was Admiral's version of Instant On. And Instant Play greeted the viewer with an instantaneous picture the moment the set was turned on. Other quality features include zinc die cast knobs, illuminated channel numbers, a decorative auxiliary control door, and for sound, a quality 3 by 5 inch oval speaker. Behind the control door reveals the auxiliary controls. These color coordinated controls will adjust the color, tint, vertical hold, contrast and brightness to suit the tastes of the viewer. And now for a look at the back cover to see other features of this fine quality piece of equipment. Here's the back of the set. As can be seen the back cover is nothing more than a large piece of stamped steel. Very similar in construction to that of a Zenith. Also similar to that of a Motorola. And it's also worth pointing out that Admiral along with Zenith and Motorola were the big three television manufacturers here in Chicago. So it's very possible that designers and engineers and whatnot may have switched back and forth between either of the companies over the years, which is why you might see some similarities amongst the three. Here are the screen controls. It's nice to see this one still has its original model tag. Go ahead and take the back cover off. Here's a look at the chassis. This is known as the H10 chassis. And it has 18 tubes. Unfortunately this set still contains most of the original tubes. Here's the date code on one of the originals. 6809.
Here's the tube location diagram. And here's the convergence panel. One thing that I like about the Admiral TVs is the fact that Admiral engineered their own TVs from the ground up. And that differs from many of the other smaller TV manufacturers back in the 60s because they used RCA clones. So basically Admiral designed their own circuitry and their own chassis and they only used Admiral designed uh, circuits and chassis in Admiral branded televisions. So that makes this set kind of unique. The fact that it being an Admiral table set makes it rare enough. Here's another thing worth pointing out. Back on May 29th of 06, I had to install a new CRT in this set. You can see it's an RCA replacement CRT from 1982. I pulled the CRT out of a 1967 RCA CTC-19 chassis. And that set was way beyond repair. It was in really bad condition physically. So I was able to use the CRT out of that to bring this set back to life. Because unfortunately this set had the instant on feature. And it's got the on off switch for the instant on. But the set was left in the on position and it just boiled that original tube away and there was no way I could save it. But even though it had the instant on and that the CRT and the tube heaters were always lit, as previously mentioned most of the original chassis tubes are still in the set and they're still in good shape. So I'm going to go ahead and put the back cover on and then we'll turn the set on. And now to power the set up. Notice that the VHF and UHF channel indicators light up simultaneously. That is by design regardless of the position of the VHF channel knob.
escapees with Sonic 12. Good. Hi, fellas. Welcome to Sonic 13. If you just get in line here, we got passports for you. Got civilian clothes, local maps, local money, and uh, some food parcels. Ah, I got some very nice in the brown. Perfect for travel. Hey, yeah, look at the lining. Find this squad at the East to be curtains in the guard's dining hall. Your escape center here in a prison camp? Well, we wanted to stay in a low rent neighborhood. <laughs> customers, 13 in just the past week. But the guards, the Germans could walk right in here. Not likely. Our comic has far more important things in his mind. Leaving you alone and beautiful friends, sir. No, no, I really shouldn't. This is my fault. Your fault. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the searchlights. Just like the probing Zenith RCA and Motorola counterparts. Admiral TV's produced a very fine quality picture. Soft shoulder. Oh yes, the colonel is like any other man. The same hopes, the same dreams, desires. Except the colonel is more lonely. Here's the tent range. But not tonight, my dear. Oh. Oh. Pleasant surprise. Balance as well. Yes, yes. Pleasant. Good color saturation. Uh, this is Fraulein Friedrich. Uh, she's here on business. Official business. A most valuable intelligence contact. Her. She brought uh, some papers for me to sign. And I see you got some of the ink on your face. <laughs> Are you aware that four men escaped from Stark 12 tonight? And last week there were nine from Stark 20 and three from Stark 9. The camera gives the impression that the picture is slightly blue. But again, that's just a characteristic of the camera that I'm using. I want the guards doubled and an immediate top to bottom inspection of every building now. Now? Now! This might be very revealing. Tune in from BTV's We Did Roof Opera to find out how does a missed bouquet cause a rift between Miss Kitty and Marshall Dillon? I'll tell you just what you can do with that badge. How does Big Hawes have a big heartbreak? Ugly. Ma'am, I can't hardly help me an ugly gal. Has a rifled man. Finally found a new rifled gal. For the answer to these and other burning questions, tune in weekdays at 1 12 Central for BTV's We Did Roof Opera. Escapes are far too well organized. There must be an underground clearing station somewhere helping these prisoners. An underground clearing station? Without a question. We are going to find it. And that concludes TV review for the 1968 Admiral Color Television.